Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it was a good start for us, and uh, certainly I think that that was uh, helpful to kind of you know uh, get our legs under us uh, against the home team. Uh, but certainly, you know, you know, know it's a 40-minute game, and uh, within five minutes, obviously, the game got nice and tight. And um, you know, I I I thought it's a great college game, and uh, I know from from my end, I could not have asked anything more of my guys tonight. Uh, they left it all out there, and you know, uh, I'll certainly give a lot of credit to to John and his club, a uh, really good club, and uh, you know, they earned the victory. Um, yeah, I mean, NYU, we usually have an advantage inside. Um, our bigs usually tear up the other bigs, um, but you got to give credit to CMU and the way they, they bounce back, um, the way they guarded the post, they made the adjustments at halftime, uh, they forced Costas and I into tough shots. Um, but I mean, that's just basketball, so all the credit to them. Uh, in my opinion, I just think it's a little bit of a different feel. We've gone through many tough games through our entire season and our entire career, pretty much. Um, especially this year, a lot of games um, with a couple of points on the board only. And I think that the playing in the NCAA is always different. It's always more exciting. It's a way better experience for everyone. And uh, with such excitement, such feel, the emotion level goes really up. And uh, that makes everything, I would say, a little bit more stressful for everyone. But um, it's really joyful for us to play in such games. And we like it. We love it. Yeah, uh, it's definitely been a long journey. Um, freshman year, we uh, didn't make the NCAA tournament. Um, I think we made ECACs. Sophomore year improvement, junior year improvement, and then senior year uh, we got here. So um, I would say that that's just a testament to the guys, uh, the coaching staff, um, what we do every day in practice for the, for the last four years uh, to sort of see that progression as my uh, college uh, life went on. Um, so I really couldn't have asked anything more um, to be with a group of guys that I love being with every day. Um, but it was, it was something special. Uh, coming off of what Evan said, after four years, it's um, the least you can say is appreciation for what you've had, and the experience is great. Um, I felt that this team, um, coaching staff, everybody, every member of this group has um, helped improve. And, um, Going through this all together, as Evan said, now it's a family. Now this group is going to go on forever. Um, we're going to have these relationships that will last for the rest of our lives. And this is the most important thing, in my opinion, having those long life, long life friends and um, family brothers now is the most important thing. 100%. I would not change it with anything else in my life. Um, well, to the program, uh, I, you know, as and Evan said it. You know, they came in um, as freshmen, um, part of a group, um, large group of upperclassmen that had just gone to the tournament, and um, you know they they were kind of uh, had to kind of work their way into the group, and 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 we had a tough year their freshman year, uh, but right away as and but but certainly positive and but right away as sophomores uh, stepping in uh, into playing roles pretty much all maybe maybe one of my uh, so seniors wasn't really in a playing role as a sophomore but right from the get-go um, the, the the thing for us is um, not only their play on their court but you know the effect they have on their teammates uh, at, on the court and off the court um, you know leading them is one thing. Loving them is something else, and making all of them feel like they're part of something special is is the most important thing. And when it's real, you feel it. And I know, you know, our younger players feel that, and that's because of guys like Evan and Costas. Um, on a personal uh, level, um, I, I can't say how proud I am. Um, um, you know, the the worst part of uh, today is that I don't get a chance to coach these young men anymore. Um, the best part is that I get to look back and remember them as you know, young 18-year-old freshmen and see that they've become uh, fine young men now. And um, it's something that I cherish, and I guess that's why I'm, I'm still doing what I'm doing, because I'm able to interact and have relationships with guys like this.